In this video, I'm going to show you how to work the 11 stitch cable used in the hot mess headband pattern. Uh, the hot mess headband pattern is a free pattern using worsted weight yarn from UU Yarns available at the link below. So for this example, I've knit up a swatch of one by one ribbing using 22 stitches per the pattern. And I've got two extra DPNs set aside. One will be a working needle and one I will use to slip the stitches for the cable. So the 11 stitch cable will obviously use 11 stitches. So we're gonna place the first 11 stitches on our needle onto a spare DPN or cable needle if you've got one large enough. Because it's in ribbing, we're gonna be slipping alternately knit stitches and purl stitches until we get to 11. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the first stitch is a knit stitch and the last stitch is a knit stitch. So we're gonna hold our cable needle to the front and I recommend draping your working yarn over this cable needle or spare DPN. It just makes it a little easier to work the first stitch. So we're gonna pick up our working needle and because the first stitch is a purl stitch, we're going to insert our needle purl wise, and then that's why I wanted this hanging up front. We're gonna grab our yarn and create a nice long loop, that's awkward, <laughs> to purl that first stitch. And that's okay that that loop stays long. Now we're gonna work in K1, P1 ribbing to the end of the needle. Okay, so here we are at the last stitch, and it's gonna be a purl stitch. We've still got our 11 stitches on hold on our DPN or cable needle. We can set aside our working needle because now what we're going to do is work the cable. And so we're going to knit in pattern off this cable needle. So I find it easier to move my stitches to the edge and then you kind of cross your stitches. We're gonna move the working yarn to the back so that we can work this first stitch as a knit stitch. And then we're gonna work in our K1, P1 ribbing to the end of this needle. Okay, so we're at the last stitch from our cable needle and it will be worked as a knit stitch. And now it just looks like we've got a huge jumble of stitches. <laughs> You're gonna see your long loop of yarn that was created when you created the cable. And now we have to turn the work to work on the other side. However, because we swapped our positions of our stitches, when we start working back across in pattern, instead of being a K1 P1 rib, it's going to be a Pearl 1 Knit 1 rib. So it's just the opposite. So from this point forward, your ribbing rows will start with a Pearl 1 and then Knit 1, and you will end with a Knit 1 instead of a Pearl 1. All right, so I've knit a few round, or rows past the cable and I just wanna show you what that cable looks like. You'll have a narrowing where the cable was actually worked and then it will go out to the full width. Just remember as you're working not to try to untwist the cable, that's where you'll see your hole. It'll look rather strange, but so long as your cast on edge and your working edge following the needle or following the cable are in the same orientation, you'll get a beautiful cable twist. Happy knitting.